It was uh, really a terrifying night for the, the people of Gaza. Uh, after sunset uh, and uh, just a few hours after the ceasefire that Israel had announced, uh, the Israeli military began to pound Gaza from the land, from the air, from the sea. Uh, with uh, naval guns, with uh, Apache helicopters, with F-16 strikes. Uh, they cut uh, power lines and Gaza went dark. They fired flares into the air to illuminate the battlefield. Uh, it was a constant barrage of bombardment uh, that lasted throughout the night. Uh, and. Um, and then we heard this announcement that uh, they had approved this uh, ground invasion and that they were coming in. Uh, the, the, the shelling has continued throughout uh, the day today. Just moments ago, there was uh, shelling that happened, strikes that uh, took out uh, a residence just next to us. And, uh, and, but it appears, you know, the, people talk of this big ground invasion. Uh, from, from what I understand from people uh, speaking to people fleeing from the north and the east, uh, that they, the Israeli military has has not pushed in very far, by some accounts just a few hundred meters uh, into the border, but what they are doing is shelling very intensely uh, from the north and from the east and pushing uh, people into this, the, the city center. Uh, as you mentioned, more children have been killed. I believe the, the number now, I spoke to the uh, Gaza Health Ministry spokesperson, he says 56 children have been killed, a total of 27 since uh, this uh, invasion has, was announced last night, 27 people have been killed. Uh, uh, house demolitions continue. I went to the uh, eastern uh, area of Shaja'eya, which is uh, just a couple of kilometers from the border with Israel, and the resident there had just had his house destroyed. He said he got a call on his cell phone by an Israeli military officer who, who named him by name and said, uh, you have to leave your house now. He told him that he had five families living with him, that he had 15 children in the house, and that he had no weapons. The officer said he had five minutes to leave. He woke up his family, ushered them out of the house. Then they got hit with a drone strike, followed by an F-16 missile, which completely demolished the house. So the Gazans are living also in this Orwellian atmosphere where they get calls and the Israeli military officers know their names on their cell phones uh, and, tell, and tell them to leave. As you mentioned in the lead, there's also been attacks uh, on the media. Uh, I went this morning to the uh, building uh, that was uh, struck on the eighth floor, uh, which houses the uh, Wataneya News Agency, a TV production company. It was hit at 7 a.m. this morning. There was no warning whatsoever, with a triple uh, strike by an Apache helicopter. 30 employees of the media production company who have been sleeping and living there for 24 hours since the war began doing coverage were sleeping there. Miraculously, only one of them was injured. Uh, they said that this is a very known office, and uh, most of them are known, and uh, they don't understand why it was struck. Uh, and as you mentioned also, there's been targeting of medical facilities. Uh, the, again, the health ministry spokesperson told me that uh, a hospital in Beit Hanun uh, has been shelled just a couple of hours ago. It's housing, he said, up to 400 children who are taking shelter there. Uh, and also during the night, the Al Wafa uh, Hospital, which is a rehabilitation center, uh, came under attack. It had been previously shelled a couple of days earlier and has been shelled repeatedly since then several times. Uh, they said that after uh, iftar, the, uh, the sunset meal that breaks the fast, they got a call from the Israeli military telling them to leave.